Hello and welcome back to George's Gaming Guide. So today I'm going back into a genre of Lego which I haven't done on the channel in a while. It is back into Marvel Avengers. So this is the Iron Man Hall of Armour set, so number 76125. And this set is made out of 524 pieces. <coughs> oh, I'm very sorry. Um, this set includes six minifigures, three of which are unique. They are the Iron Man Mark 1 armour, the Iron Man Mark 5 armour, and the Iron Man Mark 41 armour. The other three minifigures um, are the Iron Man Mark 50 armour and the two Outriders, and the Iron uh, well Iron Man's lap measures over five inches or 13 centimetres high, 13 inches or 35 centimetres wide, and six inches or 17 centimetres deep. So just looking at the front of the set, it looks like we've got sort of like a wall of Iron Man. So. I think it's quite funny. So to while Tony's in the suit itself, there's a little bit you put his hair on so that the helmet will go on. I think that's quite nice. There's a little bit of like a piece of fire. Um, there's like a, a mech kind of thing. There's a radio dish and then it looks like probably going to be stickers on some bits. It could be printing. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure as I guess it's going to be printing. So there's some weapons and then there's a uh, blender, I think, or yeah, milk, sh milkshake machine, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. But, uh, as a, this is second hand, that is why it is open. Um, so Tony can go in the mech. You can fold it around the whole lab around. Um, the main console, which is here, just connects into it, and uh, you can obviously have it like this instead of it all being. Out like that, you can have some of it on top with one of the Iron Man um, armor on it, with the radio dish at the very top as well. Um, and yeah, so all in all, I think this set is going to look really, really nice. So without further ado, let's get through some nice building. So this is the finished model and overall I do think it looks really really nice. So first I'm going to go over e Eagle, I think the name, I think that's how you pronounce it. So obviously dad built this so um, I don't know what the build quality was, I think it was quite um, nice considering what he said. So there is uh, the printing for the face and the stickers on the legs and the arms. You can actually open this so you can get Tony to go in it, which is quite nice. Um, I think that's quite that's actually quite effective. You can get him to go in it, and obviously Tony only comes in the suit in this. So, as in in his uh, Iron Man suit. So, as a guess, well no, correction. I know that he will be able to fit in there with it. But otherwise, what's the point of having that there, really? Um, so we have Dummy, which is the robot which he gave the dunce cap to, um, with a fire extinguisher because it thought he was on fire, it wasn't, so it chucked a fire extinguisher him. Um, there's a couple bits of fire, then we've got his desk, 180 degree view, coffee cup and then swivelly chair. This, what it, this is on, does move. That is because these droid arms, as it shows in the films, would take his armour off. Now this does open up to two heads, uh, one of them's like a smiley face and one of them's quite angry, with the suit on mainly because of the Outriders which are at the top here. So these are quite gnarly looking things actually in my opinion. 
So it is like the gold on the face and chest and a little bit on the back of the head. Now the reason these have so many arms is because these are like the main things that Thanos sends to attack um, uh, Wakanda originally. Um, so we have like a radar dish, we have what looks to be a coffee cup and an ice cream or smoothie maker, a weapons rack, the Mark One armor, which was obviously from the original Iron Man film when he's in the cave. So it looks like it's like just been put together with loads of just scrap metal, whatever they can find, as obviously they went in his lab with millions, if not billions, of dollars to spend on the equipment. Um, then we have the Mark V armor, which does actually look a lot like the nowadays armor. It has got the circular arc reactor, uh, same as the Mark One, um, but it is in silver and red, and that is out of the three the closest looking one to that for color at least. Then we have the Mark 41 armor, which again is the circular um, Stark reactor and uh, it's a gold and black colour scheme and I do think that looks quite nice but I do think that the red and gold is quite a bit better. Um, there's a of course oversized wrench, Lego's always done it, why would they stop with this set? And then we have his hairpiece on the stand, so it does actually come with the stand so if he's in the suit and he has the helmet on, uh, they have the helmet on there or the hair, so I, I, th I found that quite uh, funny. Um, but yeah, so one last thing that I'd like to show is that these are uh, all independent, but they are again all stuck together. So you can move them all in, and you can have this in, you can have dummy in there somewhere, and you can just make it quite condensed. And that is, to be honest, how I'd like to display it because I think it's just taking up too much room doing it like that. And I think this is much better, and I would really recommend displaying it this way, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so all in all, I think this was a really, really nice build, and I would really recommend it. And yeah, so, thank you again. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, and of course you thoughts about it. And also make sure you watch out for this Wednesday's video, which is going to be me doing a build and review on the Speed Champions 007's Aston Martin DB5.